Do you know that in C20, you can pass in concepts as template arguments? Let's run through an example. We're going to first start by defining a concept called foo like. We're going to set this up such that some type t only satisfies foo like if and only if an object of type t has a member variable called foo that's accessible. Next, we'll extend A such that it takes an auto template argument, which is constrained to be an object that can be called a callable. The auto keyword here is pretty important. It allows the temperate parameter to be deduced from some non-type argument provided, which we'll do later. Now let's flex the concept. We can write a static assert in the body of function and check that it requires the concept. Now let's set up the instantiation. This is where the syntax starts to get a little weird. We're going to pass in a lambda expression as the non-type template argument for the concept parameter of A. Again, Again, we previously used auto so that it can deduce the type of this lambda. This lambda only takes in one argument, but that argument is constrained by the foo-like concept. So the signature foo-like auto here means I accept any type, but only if that type satisfies the foo-like concept. Alrighty, let's try and flex A. Let's create a struct foo, which has our member variable foo, and we can create struct bar, which has no member variable foo. When I call f.fn on foo, it should work for us, no compilation errors. However, f.fn on bar should give us some red squigglies, meaning our static assert way up top failed for bar, which was expected. I hope you liked that video, and follow for more to learn more about C++.